Hey everybody, it's Jen Sheffer, and today's tutorial will cover how to send students a invitation to join a Google Meet through Seesaw. This is a best practice and it's the preferred method of inviting students to a Google Meet and it is by using the Google Meet join code. So what you will do is in a Seesaw class is click on the plus sign and click on send announcement. Once the announcement loads, you will send this to all students and family members, and you will let students know that they are to please go to the Google Meet iPad app and enter the join code FH Sheffer. Now this code is unique to my Google Meets. The FH stands for Fox Hill and Sheffer is my last name. So this is an excellent uh, naming convention for your Google Meet codes. It is the initials to your school building as well as your last name. It also establishes consistency for families in terms of how they will join the meeting. So once you've done that, you're going to click on send. You don't have to send any attachments um, to that announcement. What families will then simply do is from their child's device, is they'll open up the Google Meet app and there will be a button for them to click on that says enter a meeting code and they will enter FH Sheffer or whichever code you have given them and then click on continue. Now you will start the meet before the students join. So once you've launched the meet, your students will enter that code and the meet will then become live so they'll be able to join. In our district, we have it set so that students cannot start a Google Meet. So from the student perspective, they would get a notification that you as the teacher is already present in the meeting. They'll be able to click join now and you will be there to greet them uh, for your morning meeting or that remote lesson or uh, whatever the purpose is of that video call that you are starting. The other tip to remember is that you as the teacher should leave the meeting last. So wait until all the students have left, then you will end the meeting and that code is no longer accessible um, and it is no longer um, usable by the students. So that is again, another best practice uh, safety measure for students. We hope that uh, you find this method of starting Google Meets easy and effective. And if you have any additional questions or need additional support, please do not hesitate to reach out to me or any member of the BPS EdTech team. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.